Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Sir Cypher here, and now we're going to do the third mission of uh, the Empire Campaign of Mark of Chaos. It's technically optional, but there's no reason not to do it, so we're going to do it. Uh, the Rampage of Greenskins have slaughtered the people that lived here and made their camp. They must be vengeance. I think it's kind of funny that after we just chastised that guy in the last mission for fighting the orcs instead of the Northmen, now we're doing the same thing. But anyway, um... We will move out. If these videos seem slightly cut together, like there's like quick jumps, it's because uh, this game freezes at the drop of a hat. Um, possibly one of the reasons why a lot of people have a bad view of it. Um, so sometimes I have to mishmash some videos together. So uh, we have a giant wad of handgunners, and then we have our swordsmen, and we have our wizard chilling out over here. Two and a half thousand years ago, our Lord Sigma triumphed at Blackfire Pass. Remind the Greenskins of that victory today. Be brave and show no mercy. So, um, I don't think I've mentioned all the abilities that our units have. Um, Stefan, he's got the Storm of Steel, which does AOE damage in front of him with his attacks. And he also has, um, this Armor of Contempt which uh, gives the unit armor temporarily but I basically never use it because he gives him enough armor just with his ability and swordsmen are really tough um, swordsmen have the ability where they can shield parry basically they go into defensive mode um, but and it makes him less effective in combat but swordsmen are already really tough like I said so it's not really a big issue um, the secondary ability for the wizard, besides the fireball, is uh, he can put on this sort of shield that um, can cause enemies damage if they hit him or the unit he's in. So as you can see there, handgunners just like murdered all these goblins. There is a giant up here, but we are going to clear out all of these um, enemy units first. Because uh, the giant is pretty tough. We don't really want to fight the giant head on if we can avoid it. I bring destruction to the Emperor's foes. Um, we await your command. I shall lead the army forth. So we'll get Stefan von Kessel up here in case. Uh, our firepower is not enough to uh, get these guys out of here. Our advance must continue. With bitter bloodshed, we will earn victory! So, these orc boys are kind of scary here. So we'll fire a bunch of volley fires at them. Which will hopefully... Cause them to scurry off here. And it looks like that's going to be enough. And uh, Stefan Von Kessel's over here and he chased off all these night goblins. So as you can see, handgunners are ridiculously good. Um, and we still don't even have a full complement of them yet, but we will. So we'll go up here, we'll grab all this gold, these potions and stuff. I bring destruction to the Emperor's foes. Right, there. Okay, now we've got to fight this giant, and probably the safest way to do it is um, we really want to have um, our guys have a volley fire ready, because uh, if you fight the giant in melee, when it dies, it falls over and it kills all the units next to it, like it does in the tabletop, and obviously we don't want that. So we will. Ah, screw it. Let's go for it. You can kind of just kite it around with your bright wizard. Throw a fireball at him. Come on, bright wizard. Do your stuff. So he's mad now. <laughs> Run, Bright Wizard. As the flame seeks the fuel. This giant's really angry. Uh-oh. 
No. Run, handgunners. Ready. March. Glory to the Empire. I command the powers of pyromancy. Ready and Oh, here we almost got the volley. We are yours to command. Step lively there. Run. What are you doing, you fool? Oh god, he's gonna fall over on my dudes. <laughs> All right, so that's fine. Um, looks like all of my handgunners are veteran now, too. Glory to the Empire. So, um, yeah, if he had actually came into combat with my guys, it would have been, uh, no fun. For some reason, Stefan Von Kessel can't pick up this item. I wonder why. So anyway, uh, we'll get some more veterancy. Um, this is, uh, gives the regiment he's in more armor. This gives him an increased chance to hit. So now we will just move in on the enemy camp for the final assault. We are yours to command. Onwards, brave lads. And we'll get some more improved fireballs here. Like I said, the bright wizard is going to be our. It's going to be serious business eventually, but right now he's not. He's nothing special. Your allies in Altdorf have sent me. The faithful shall prosper. I shall lead the army forth. An eager, my lord. So we'll just advance a little closer here. The faithful shall prosper. Put Stefan here I in the front. The There's the orc camp. We got some goblins. We got the orc war boss. Which I'm probably not going to duel because he might actually kill Stefan. Now the reason in the tabletop or in this game... Why you don't put your heroes just by themselves is because um, when a unit is outside of a regiment, uh, infantry can target him specifically, and you can see how his health is going down very fast, um, because, I mean, heroes are tough, but, you know, this many handgunners shooting at him is not going to last very long. So we'll put on Storm of Steel. Chase these guys off. Uh, throw, some, throw some more fireballs in here, maybe. So yeah, um, swordsmen aren't that great, but they can uh, they can take a charge. So. We'll finish blasting all these guys. Um, and then step two is we need to break up this camp and uh, take all the items. In it. So. Unless those guys rally, we're not gonna have to fight anybody else. But just do a little housekeeping here. Take all these items. Um, but yeah, nothing, uh, nothing terribly bad. Um, Somebody mentioned in the thread that uh, they're like sad that there's no, there's no wizards or there's no uh, engineers, and I agree. But like I said, uh, when this game came out, what engineers couldn't do even in the tabletop, like nearly as much as they can do now, all they could do is basically like adjust the aim of cannons and make sure they didn't blow up um, when you shot them. But uh, now they have all sorts of crazy gadgets and gizmos. Um, so if they probably in the new game that Creative Assembly is making for Warhammer, um, they'll probably add things like engineers. Alright, so that is it. We, we broke everything in the camp. So... Loaded an Sigma. Victory is yours. So lost five dudes, killed 178, put 
pretty par for the course for this this game. So search the dead bodies, enemies, and find 3,500 gold. And move on to here. This isn't a Sergeant, mission. Make your report. I'm Wolfgang Spitzen of the Olden War Patrol. We've been tracking raiders south of here. Count Gruber is ordering a muster of all soldiers in the area. The trail is getting colder. We can join you if that's your order, Captain Von Kessel. Well, I guess it is his order. He doesn't specify. But anyway, um, the next mission is here. And we could have just skipped to that if we didn't want to do the optional mission. Um, as far as our troops, we get a unit of huntsmen. Who I might use the next mission just to show you how they work. They're skirmishers. And, um, but they're just neither not as good as handgunners by a long shot. Um, so we'll just reinforce all the units. Everybody is veteran C3 now. Everybody's got all the upgrades and the armor. As far as items go, I'll show what this does at some point. Um, it basically resurrects a bunch of your units. I forgot to drink that. Um, we got more wizard stuff for the bright wizard. Um, I didn't mention these, but the blue things, they are like mana balls, I don't know, stones. And they give you more mana for your total mana pool. And uh, magical infusions, you drink them and they like wipe your cooldowns so you can cast spells faster. But you never really need to do that, so I just sell them. Um, this is a scroll, you can read it to... Um, mimic the ability of a character. So this one has Armor of Contempt, which gives all your units more armor, but we already have Stefan von Kessel, and he has it just as an ability. And then we'll just give everybody more XP. Um, this is what's going to make the Bright Wizard actually pretty good now. Um, now whenever we cast a Fireball, it'll make AoE fire on the ground. Um, and then from here on, he's just going to get better and better. So that is... Oh, I f what? thought I bought the sword. Hmm. Anyway, um, so that is it. So next we will be defending the town of Erstedorf. So thank you for watching and have a nice day.